One of the things I found out in my research and the conclusions that I've come to, and I think I have a lot of evidence for it, at least substantial amount to really uh, make us realize this is a spiritual war, and we know that one way or another. But uh, the whole concept of the emerging church and, and, and going after the youth and giving them the idea that they were merging into a greater form of Christianity, more pure, vintage, or authentic form of Christianity, uh, that very deception is outlined uh, in a book about you know deceiving Christians, Satan deceiving Christians, the famous screw tape letters uh, written by C.S. Lewis. Since Bono is by far and away the most influential of the emergent leaders, influencing literally hundreds of millions of people in a myriad of ways, and as a major influence on the world's leaders, it's important that we obey scripture and test those who are claimed to be prophets. We need to look at Bono's fruit and we need to look at where he is taking the world and much of the church. I have been mentioned And there are many rooms to see But I left by the back door And I threw away Bono states of his satanic persona as the fly and McFisto that they were really like phone calls from hell. In fact, Bono says of the fly, the way I saw the fly was like a crank call from hell, but the guy likes it there. You know, if you tell people that the best place to have sex is in the safe hands of a loving relationship, you may be telling a lie. There may be other places. Be a sex machine, but for Christ's sake, use a condom. Bono has not only been seen in compromising position with gals, but you know he's been seen kissing guys. Uh, I just hope and pray that Bono would recognize if he's really concerned about AIDS, that he would stand up and that he would say, hey, you know what, we all need to repent and get right with God. Bono actually would hope and wants to turn the world on to the movies, which are propaganda movies, of the Satanist Kenneth Anger. Bono sees it, speaking of Zoo TV Network, as a window for the world to the films of Kenneth Anger. Part of America's dilemma is its TV, because as a mirror, it's a pretty distorted one. I mean, where can you see Kenneth Anger's films in the United States? Just who is Kenneth Anger who Bono is, you know, promoting and wanting to turn so much of the world onto? Is it possible that Bono is taking instructions from a diabolical playbook in an effort to deceive Christians? What you're about to see proves the old adage that truth is stranger than fiction.